Many of us are worried about getting cancer. For most, it's our biggest fear. We often know many people who are affected by cancer, having loved ones or individuals who will get diagnosed with this every single day. There are many ways that we can avoid getting cancer. I often get this question asked to me. These are my top tips on how to avoid getting cancer. Number one, stop smoking. Cancer affects many, many people, but smoking without doubt is one of the biggest causes and one of the biggest factors that you can do to help yourself. It affects up to 40,000 people a year and the effects of secondary smoke, effects on your family and your loved ones, is even greater. So help yourself and help the people you love by stopping smoking. My second would be to wear sunscreen. Again, a very simple and effective way of stopping a very common cancer. Nowadays, going out into hot countries is seen as a normal part of our everyday holidays. But unfortunately, we still avoid wearing the protective sunwear that we need to do. If you like going on your holidays, if you like taking your children and your family with you, you must make sure that they're protected. Wearing sunscreens over 35 is the best way to protect getting damage from UV rays directly from sunlight. Number three, eat less fried and fatty foods. Another really simple way of reducing the amount of saturated fat you have in your diet. Saturated fats are linked to obesity and are linked to types of colon cancer which you can avoid by simply baking or grilling your foods. This is another effective way of reducing your chances of getting cancer. Number four, wear your protective gear. If you're in a workplace which works with chemicals, so for example cleaning industry or in a factory, then make sure you're wearing the masks and the gloves that are provided. This again, long term, can affect your health, especially those who work in the building industry. And it's very important that you ask for the protective wear and more important that you use it. My number five top tip for preventing cancer is to wear condoms. Again, sexual health risks are increasingly evident. Our population now is having sex into a lot later age and we know that STI numbers are increasing in those over 30 and again over 60. So there's no excuse, the message has been quite clear. Condoms prevent transmission of communicable diseases and they also prevent transmission of STIs. Wearing them is a great way of preventing yourself from getting problems later on and reducing particular types of cancer of the genitals. Number six, get your vaccines. Vaccines have been out for a long time and there's often a lot of worry for people to get these done. However, the one vaccine that can really prevent cancer is the HPV vaccination. It's offered to all teenage girls and it's very important that you get this done to prevent cervical cancer. Number seven, test yourself. I always advise people to know their own bodies. I'm always recommending people that whenever they're in the shower, as part of their daily cleaning regime, that they should test themselves whether that's a breast examination or for men a testicular exam. Doing this and knowing this will mean that you know your body and you know when you may find a sinister lump. If you do find a lump or a bump that you're worried about, early diagnosis is vital to get improved survival rates. Going in on an early stage, even if you feel it's nothing, is vitally important to reduce the chances of cancer. Often early lumps can be removed and cause no little or absolutely no harm to your long-term health. Number eight, get your screening tests done. We offer the screening tests such as cervical screening, well man screening and well woman screening. It's vitally important that when these are offered to you that you take these opportunities. If you're worried about them, it's always worth going down and asking your GP if they'll be able to give you a well woman or a well man screening test. Mammograms, prostate checks, colon cancer checks, stool sample tech checks, always very important to have these done. Again, don't ignore them. If they pop in the post or you get that letter to remind you, it's awfully important that you go and use that opportunity. And if not, look elsewhere to see where you can get these screening tests done. Number eight, eat organic. The problem with pesticides in our food chain is increasing and is linked to a number of different types of cancer. Try and avoid heating food up in plastic containers and trying to eat fresh fruit and vegetables is healthy for quite a number of reasons, but is also known to prevent certain types of colon cancer from forming. Try and avoid pesticides and if you do get fruit and vegetables, wash them thoroughly before you eat them. And number 10, get fruity. Eat lots of fruit and vegetables, especially your five a day. If you can manage this and you can actually have at least three pieces of oily fish, 
your chances of colon cancer are actually reduced. So again, wash your vegetables, eat lots of them, and try and add in lots of oily fish. And you know that's a good way of getting good omega-3 oils and essential mi minerals and vitamins that your body needs, as well as reducing your chances of getting cancer.